So how can you increase your flexibility using NLP? And I thought it would be a great topic uh, for this week's, week's video because it's something that you need to have if you're a coach yourself in the coaching business or you're into self-coaching and personal development. Flexibility, well, first of all, you need to understand what, what, it, what it is and how it relates. So first of all, flexibility is a marker of emotional intelligence. So the higher that it is, the more emotionally intelligent you are. And emotional intelligence ties to things like our happiness and our well-being. And flexibility is your ability and your tendency to adapt to changing situations. And, and this is especially challenging when the changing situations are, have a potential for a pain impulse, are unfamiliar to you, um, things like that. And so you could look at inflexibility as a tendency to want to hold on to what you know. And, and that's not a, a, in essence, when you think about it, it's not a negative thing. Because what you know, you have mastery at. You have been doing it. It has often been working for you many times. It was maybe part of your upbringing. But what happens is, is that your inflexibility has, it has an unconscious competence. Meaning, you're really good at that inflexibility, but you're not aware of it right? That means that sometimes when there are changing situations, like a pandemic, like a knock in your business, like a knock in your life, like a, a divorce, your children going off to college, whatever it is, we go on this mastery. And mastery, unconscious competence in what we're used to, may not work in this new situation. That's the problem. Okay. So the first thing that you need to do in terms of a technique, if you will, is to kind of switch on to become conscious in NLP. We use the meta model for that, or you can even go into a what's the positive intent that motivates this behavior. And, and, and having an inflexibility, the unwillingness to adapt is a behavior. So what underlies it? What's the positive intent that motivates the unwillingness to change. Yeah, what is it? What emotion do you get as a result of wanting that old thing? What is it that you get? And often people go, well, I've learned that this other situation gives me positive emotions, gives me security, safety. And we want to hold on to that because we want to have that security, safety, protection, comfort. It's what we know. It's what we're learned to do, maybe even from our parents and our teachers and our society. That new thing is the big unknown. We often have never done it before. It feels uncomfortable. It feels like, I don't know about this. I have no mastery here. So you go, well, what's the positive intent that motivates this behavior in the inflexibility gives you an answer as to what you need to create in this new choice. The problem with this new choice, it's not alive in your brain. And your brain cannot attach to this unless it, it can future pace itself. To see, hear, and feel, not a negative outcome where everything goes bad, but when it can see, hear, and feel a positive outcome. So you need to train it. You need to feed it the right data. So let's just say, uh, I, I run a small uh, training business that operates all over the world, has three, four staff members, but my training locations in Bali shut down because of the pandemic. Um, LA was a challenge. Miami training venue would be in guaranteed COVID spread. Um, I cannot get into the US. Um, what happens? Okay, let's train in Mexico. What if my students are uh, uh, get COVID? Well, let's make sure that we put a lot of safety measures in place. Like right now, for instance, in the, in the next LA training, the next Mexico training, I'm, I'm traveling with a whole batch of uh, uh, COVID tests that can easily be done 15 minutes before the first day of training. Capping the numbers. And so you kind of go, well, okay, what's my unknown? Yeah, so I had to research a lot. I had to go 
okay i don't know where to train in mexico well okay let's get that information a lack of information equals stress uh, i need to negotiate training venues i need to look at pictures on airbnbs i need to talk to realtors uh, what if i cannot afford it well i don't even know how much it costs let's figure it out let's strike a great deal where i can pay for the majority of the training venue a day before the class starts um, what if people don't come well then i need to market differently so if this disaster thing or this unknown comes into my brain i go well if this then that i need to fix that i need to get the information i need to see hear and feel whatever the outcome of the solution is so i need to create a, a sensory based experience in my head of something that's good the unknown i need to get information so I, I create that situation of, okay, so now I don't know what I'm supposed to see, hear and feel. Let's do an action. Let's get information. Now I know what I will see, hear and feel. Oh, what about that? Okay, let's do an action. What will I see, hear and feel? So I'm creating this vivid experience in my mind where I create that safety, protection and security that I was after in the first place. So I built that and built that and built that. But how, why didn't I not talk myself out of that? Well, that's thanks to Mel Robbins, to be honest. She says, brilliant coach Mel Robbins, go look, up, look her up, okay? Five second rule. Anytime that you need to, when something comes in your head or you need to make a decision, decide in five seconds because you talk yourself out of it. So I go, action, get information, sort shit, make a decision, call people, get expertise, whatever it is. So slowly and surely, I start to paint a picture in my head. That works. I keep adapting, I keep changing. Also, I'm willing to use a model of excellence. In this case, in Mexico, I didn't know anyone who had done what I wanted to do before. But if I did, I would have called them and say, hey, can you paint me a picture? Does that ring true to you? Can you give me the, what does it sound, look like, feel like to organize this training? How can I pull that off? How can I create a vivid movie in my mind with sound, with feelings, with even smells and tastes and just get it done? And so uh, this is me from Mexico. The Bali training is canceled and I had to be flexible. So we're going to be back in Mexico here in Puerto Morelos, uh, tropical paradise. See you around. <laughs>